CataractCoach.com, trying to remove the cortex, but then this happens. Well, at least the cortex is gone, but so are the design or support fibers. Now, what are you going to do? Watch our case here. Looks okay. Now, what do you notice? Look at the right side of the screen there. That certainly, there's a little bit of the lens equator showing. There's certainly some xenopathy. Look how the rexus has shifted a little bit to the left there. So, I like this idea of going in there with viscoelastic. Don't let the eye collapse. Smart, smart move. Looking good. Injecting the viscoelastic, keeping the probe in the eye. Now, let's take the probe out. Now, let's evaluate. What do you want to do here? Now, there's certainly some cortex there. But you got to do something to stabilize the capsule bag here. Now, could you put in temporary support hooks? That would work. Switch to a bimanual IA removal for the cortex. That works too. Okay, going in with coaxial. But look at the right side of the screen there. You can already see the lens capsule bag equator. That's the danger sign. So now going in, cortex removal. Look how the whole bag is loosey-goosey. Loose bag there. You're getting the cortex out. You're doing a pretty good job there. But what's going to happen is going to the right there. What are you going to do now? There's obviously a big sheet of cortex here. If you grab it there, that's the equator. Look, look, look. Xylopathy is terrible, and you're inducing more of it. This is the problem. So you've got to do something to stabilize that. So I would actually at least put switch hands, put the probe in your left hand, put the right hand, make a second pair of these, go inside there, and use a chopper to help stabilize the bag or a capsule hook, something. But if you keep pulling like this, you know what's going to happen. You're getting more and more xylopathy. That's the equator. Now you've got a huge gap there with zero zone of support. You're looking at least four clock hours, maybe even five or six clock hours. Now what do you want to do here? You keep pulling, you're going to induce more and more zonulopathy. Now what? What's left of that capsule bag even? Now what are your options here? What do you want to do? Think about it. You can keep trying this, but you may also be pulling vitreous now coming through that big gap. How are you going to know? Well, that's what triamcinolone is for. So again, trying to pull this cortex up, Here's again where a bimanual approach would be easier because you could use the infusion from the bimanual to hold that temporal or that side rexus there on the right side of your screen while the other hand uses the aspirator to go and get the cortex out. But again, just trying to remove this, you don't have any counter traction with the capsular bag. That's the issue here. Okay, you got some of the cortex out, but like how much of the zonulopathy has gotten worse now? So again, pulling this out, again, very, very tough here. Now you got to think, what am I going to do for eye well placement, right? Think about it. What are we going to do here for eye well placement? So viscoelastic going inside. Okay, that'll give us a little bit of time to think. What should we do here? Well, in a case like this, is it time to call in our retina specialist? Hey, let's tell you about retinarounds.com, our new sister channel. So as of March 1, we've got retinarounds.com, new video every single day, plus youtube.com slash at retinarounds. You can go to the Retina Rounds website and sign up for the free daily email for Retina Rounds, same way like you do with Cataract Coach. Or you can also go to youtube.com slash at Retina Rounds and sign up for the YouTube video. Now here comes another incision there. Let's see what's going to happen. This is an interesting position because it's opposite the surgeon. seems like the surgeon is sitting superiorly, and that was an inferior incision for the patient. So now look at that rexus, how it's shifted over. That's because there's a lot of zonulopathy. That oval-shaped rexus that shifted over, it was a round rexus initially, what do you want to do here? Now, probably what you need to do here, I don't think a Simcoe is your friend here. That's not really not what you need because there's still no counter-traction. So what I would have done, again, is by manual IA, Simcoe's okay. It's better than the regular IA, coaxial IA. I agree with that because it's more controlled. It's slower motion. But what you need to do is get in some viscoelastic, get a CTR in. You're going to need a capsule tension segment. And I think that way you can do fixation there to the sclera of the capsule retention segment. I think that's going to be basically your case. Kind of like we saw yesterday's case. If you look at cataractcoach.com, yesterday's video, which was 2487, you can see that's what was done. CTR plus CTS, so capsule retention ring plus capsule retention segment, using a proline to make a flange technique and support that, and it worked great. Now, in this case, what do you want to do? Think about it. So most of the cortex is out. It looks pretty good now. Let's stabilize things. How about some viscoelastic? There's a get out we go. Now we're talking viscoelastic. I wish we would put some triamcinolone so we can see if there's any vitreous prolapse. But look how decent of the rexus is. That just tells you how much zionopathy there is. Now, again, I think this, the solution here is CTR, capsule engine ring, plus capsule engine segment, flange fixation or Gore-Tex fixation of the capsule engine segment. Again, here it is, the end of the case. A little microscope change on the settings here so you can see a little bit better view. I think that's your answer. Now, the question is, do you have to do that now? What if you're not prepared for that? What if you don't feel comfortable doing that? What if you want your colleague to help you? You can leave the IA fake 
Just keep in mind, you're going to start the clock on capsular contraction. Here's the patient post-op, and you can see there's the empty capsular bag. So still nothing in the eye. You need to go back to the operating room. Yes, that was okay, very reasonable. If it wasn't in your skill set, you didn't have the equipment you needed, you didn't have the, 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 the staff there, whatever you had, what the issue is. Okay to come out of the eye, leave it aphakic, and come back and go back in there with your colleague or your friend or your even yourself in a better situation and implant the eye well. Again, capsule retention ring, capture into segment, Gore-Tex or flange technique with some proline to, to fix it in place, put the eye well in the capsule bag, patient will do fine. Just remember, do this within a couple of weeks after the original surgery, otherwise the capsule bag is going to start to contract and it's going to be a lot more challenging. But interesting case, leave a comment below. What would you have done in this case? Would you have left the patient aphakic here? I want to hear your comments. Type them below. Check it out also, retinarounds.com. You can sign up right now. YouTube.com slash at retinarounds. You're going to love it.